So thousands of people come to see Amma. They come to get her blessing. It's a hug. It's something she's been doing since she was a young girl in India. If, when people come to visit Amma, it's free, but people can buy food and they can buy gifts and, and book items and things like that. And that all goes 100% to the charitable activities that Amma drives. It's a little unusual. Not even in India is there any precedent of a, of a woman, not even a holy woman, hugging strangers, but this is something Amma's been doing since she was a teenager. She would travel to some of the other homes in her very poor fishing village and, and, and hear stories of other families that were suffering even worse than hers. And um, it was just part of her expression to just reach out and hug those people. It, it just, and it just, it sort of took off from there. She's never stopped doing that. And so, you know, 33 million hugs later, it's just kind of what she does. It's a, it's an expression of her compassion for humanity. Uh, it's a, you know, it's like a tremendous uplift for your spirit. I've, I've been coming for a while now. It's not my first time. And um, every time I come, I just, you know, it's like, makes me feel better. I think that we live in a time where embrace is rare. You know, and her, her embrace is really, really like solid and you can feel her energies, you know, like transferring to you. It was absolutely pure love. I felt enveloped. Um, it was almost like taking a very short but profound trip to another universe. <laughs> For me, it was uh, a quieting, I think, of the spirit. And, uh, and I just felt just very incredibly peaceful. And uh, maybe that's what I was seeking to begin with, and that's what she gave me.